Hello, what's up YouTube, Ronix with it and tutorial and in this tutorial I want to show you guys how to make your images pop in Photoshop. So, you want to change the image from looking like this to looking like this. You can see that the image really is nice and popping in just Photoshop. So, before you can go ahead, let me first of all delete this right here and I give credit to the photographer of this image. This image was taken by Sota Photography. He is an amazing photographer based in Uganda. So I want to give credit to him and the link to his Instagram. You guys can check him out on his Instagram. The link is going to be in the description of this very tutorial or this very video. So just check down below and you're going to be checking him out on Instagram. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tronics Photography. So that is all for the introduction part. So in order to make your images pop, we are going to be using two blend options that is the color burn and the color dodge remember when you want the image to pop you want it to or you want the, that those colors to be emphasized in either the highlights or the shadows of your images that's why you have to bring forth or bring forward that technique of dodging and burning of images in photoshop so let me show you guys so usually there are different techniques that can be used to uh, make images pop but I wouldn't recommend those so let me first show you guys what I don't want to recommend you guys to do so the very first method can be maybe coming to the vibrance and just pushing up the vibrance just like that even more just like that but when you turn this on and off you can see the image is really popping but it just looks oversaturated and doesn't look really nice and natural enough and some people prefer to i'm just going to put this back to zero some people prefer to just push the saturation up in order to make their images pop but this is not nice and it really lacks that nice and beautiful contrast in the images so i wouldn't recommend that kind of technique what i would recommend is you can simply come to the brightness and contrast and when you come to brightness and contrast don't just pull the contrast option just come and activate use legacy and just you shouldn't go above five with this technique but if at all you go above five you're going to notice that it's going to be losing out on the details in the shadow areas of the image and the popping kind of effect is, is not going to be enough for your images so this technique is uh, for those that don't want to use the very first two methods I've used So we're going to be using color burn and the color dodge and using the HSL panel or The hue and saturation option in Photoshop. So you're just going to come the adjustments and we are going to come to the hue and saturation option So when you select this is you're going to be leaving this at zero or at their default and simply close this so come the blending mode and change it from normal and change it to a color burn. So when you come to color burn, you can notice that when you come to the opacity option and we turn it down, you're going to notice that it's going to be showing us a really not nice looking image and it's going to be having these really artifacts you can see, especially in the color area of the photo. So make sure you don't use the opacity option, but this time around, you're going to be using the fill option so when you come to the fill option and we start turning it down gradually you can notice that it is really adding that nice kind of pop uh, to the shadows of the image so when i turn this on and off you can see that the image is really having that nice and beautiful contrast added to it so we're just going to be leaving that the way it is and you're going to create a second hue saturation adjustment slider or layer and we're going to leave it the way it is and simply close it so this time around what we are going to be doing we are going to come back and do the color dodge because we want to enhance or make the highlights of this image pop even more so we're going to come to the blending mode and change it from normal and we're going to change it to color dodge so you can see that the highlights are now really popping but it is affecting the overall image simply because the fill is up to 100% so simply come to the fill option and now when you click on it simply reduce on the fill just like that 
and as you're reducing it you're going to notice that the highlights are going to really be popping in a nice and natural way in just photoshop you can see how these highlights are popping in this image so i'm just going to leave it i'm going to take it all the way down to around a negative seven for purposes of uniformity so this is not all and if at all you feel like this is really not enough for you you can simply come and double click right here and simply come now to the saturation and you can take it all the way up to 100 and you can simply come to the color band too and you can simply take it all the way to 100 and you can see that the image is really nice and popping but I feel like this is really too much for uh, my liking so you can simply come back to the fill and just drop down that fill a little bit to around 5 and you can come to this second uh, color dodge option and you can simply reduce on the fill so I'm going to put these two in a group by hitting shift and clicking on this last one and hitting ctrl command G and you can simply name this pop to put them in a group so you can see the before and after before after you can see how we have made this image pop while retaining the original a nice contrast and the original colors in a more natural way using the uh, color band blending tool or blending option and the color dodge blending option in just photoshop so this is how to make your images pop the right way in photoshop and if at all you have loved this story don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very very first time ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another story and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating